Hi guys, um, Leanne Hins here. Um, today we're going to be doing um, our favourite beauty products, like our favourite mascara, favourite foundation, da 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 da. And so, so forth. Yeah, so forth and so on. <laughs> and we've got lots of makeup in front of us and we're both yeah. really excited. So excited. So, now, like, before, when we first did our intro video, we both we both said that we're obsessed with makeup. So, in between, like, our health videos, there's yeah. gonna be makeup ones as well because we just can't help ourselves. Before I was in her bedroom and I was just like, <laughs> gosh, this is so exciting. Yes. So, um, what should we start off with? What's your favorite? One thing that I can't live without is definitely foundation. <laughs> That's just my son I'm screaming for food. Can I get it for you in a minute? Okay, cool. Um, one thing I def can't live without is foundation. I wear it pretty much every day. It's like maybe a few days a week I won't wear it, but it's like my saviour because I get pimples still. <laughs> Unless you're young. Inside, yeah. <laughs> young. So my favourite foundation, and I've only found it this year. I've tried lots of different ones, but the, my favourite one is the Estee Lauder. Double wear. Is that go? Do I have to do that? <laughs> yeah. Double wear stay in place makeup and it's got SPF 10. Um, it lasts, they say, for over 10 hours and I've got really oily skin and it definitely does. Like I'll put it on in the morning and after work it's pretty oily because I don't touch up during the day but it's still on compared to other ones so oh, it's okay. amazing. You have to put it on quite fast because it dries fast because it's such oh, a true. long wearing one and it is quite expensive but if it's got good coverage and I use it all the time, that's why I pay for it. So, yes, do awesome. it. Well, my favourite at the moment for foundation is Rimmel London, the Match Perfection Light Perfecting Radiance Foundation. Mine's in classic beige. And I got this from ASOS.com. Free shipping. It's so, um, good. It's so good. We both mm. shop on that site. Um, and I love it because, well, it has a pump. I quite like the pumps and um, this is SPF 18 I really like it I don't touch up either like you I don't touch up like <laughs> forget who cares whatever but if I'm going out I will touch up definitely yeah, if I'm out like in town or whatever I touch up yeah mm -hmm. definitely um, and this was really quite inexpensive it was about 1375 I think so and that was New Zealand then. dollars as well mm. um, so yeah that's my favorite foundation at the moment but who knows what it will be like two months later yeah I used Rimmel before I used the Estee Lauder one and I found that better than my MAC one that I had Whoa, before that so Rimmel's it's pretty hard out <laughs> yeah cheap but really good awesome um what should we do now I'll just pick whatever is in front of me yeah so eyeshadow is Urban Decay Naked 2 palette I got this from um I don't know what her business name is, but Shandina Edwitty. She's a local makeup artist and she has a Facebook page. I'll try and. Oh, put the, yeah. yeah, link that down link below because I want to check that out. Yeah, so she orders <coughs> in stuff um, and I got this off her. It was quite expensive, but I've heard so many good things about it and now this is pretty much all I use. So it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. I think I can count 12 different shades <laughs> and they're all quite um, neutral shades, so they're not like bright peacock colours like they're browns, coppers, bronze, um, black, greys and I've never really liked um, like silvery grey eyeshadows like I've never liked them but these ones are just uh, gorgeous. Yeah fab. So good <laughs> and it's got nights like it's got plain ones, matte ones so ones without um, shimmer that you can use during the day and then it's got really shimmery ones. Yeah. So it's a good palette for like day and night. Yeah totally. Evening yeah. wear. I wear it. Day wear often to work and it doesn't look OTT I think yeah my no words. I don't reckon <laughs> yeah. um I have to go with the same one as well oh yeah except there's a little difference with my one um mine's actually a replica which I got from blinglicious.co.nz I can't believe it's a replica I know and we were like comparing them and honestly they both look pretty much the same I like know, it's crazy not much difference everything they've got everything right like yeah even the back i was looking at the back to see the wording yeah. even there, it was the same. Yeah. even there, it's all just i think the only thing is this one here's just a little bit you can feel heavier. it's heavier yeah, you can feel it apart from that colors are fantastic 
I got mine for around 75 bucks and yeah usually they are 120 yeah um, no, I, I will link down bangladesh.co.nz I'm not sure if they still sell these at that price it was just a special day and I just got in there but yeah definitely my most favorite palette at the moment and probably will be for ages yeah bomb.com <laughs> um next is lipstick so my favorite lipstick I do like lots of lipsticks but this one I always go back to and it is a MAC um pro long wear perpetual flame um oh it's so stunning so what I'm wearing now <laughs> um it's like a I don't know it's kind of like a red crimsony it's not like a bluey red it's more like a pinky red and um, I love that. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, it's just nice. Like sometimes I don't wear it um, full on. Like I won't. I'll just dab it on my lips and like a oh, lip yeah. stain. And it's give it like that. Just kissed. <laughs> just kissed. Or just bitten. Just kiss. Just bitten. <laughs> I don't know. Like you know, just like that nice pink stain. Um, and if I put it on, I'll put some on now. It's so. It's nice. Like when you put it on, it's so. I know it's just a lipstick, but it's like satiny and velvety on your lips. But then after a while, it goes quite dry, and you could probably kiss someone or have a drink of tea or coffee or whatever, and it won't come off. Like oh, it is really good. long wearing. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you're like, okay, just come off. It's so long wearing. So yeah, Mac. And where did you get that from? Did I got it from, from Mac store. Um, duty free last year. Oh, we know okay. It. Two. Sydney. Yeah. Awesome. So my lipstick that I, I don't have an expensive one like. Hins does <laughs> but that is pretty good that one this yeah. is my favorite lipstick and it is this one from NYX and it is the lim lip smacking fun colors in the color eucalyptus and it's just a really oh, I just like this cool. color I don't know how to explain what kind of color it is but it's like a fuchsia kind yeah, of but then it's a bit kind darker. of like a fuchsia yeah, yeah. Um, and I wear this all the time team it up with a clear lip gloss or even a red lip gloss and it's like Pass. stunning Mm. I got this from beautyjoint.com. Beautyjoint.com is really awesome, but I haven't shopped on there for ages purely because they up their shipping fee. Oh. Yeah, that's the only reason I haven't bought anything from them in ages. Next like, lipsticks are yeah. awesome. Though. But I think you can get... Where else can you get next from? I think um, you can... Hiko Sinkara. Yeah. yeah, and there's other websites in New Zealand that you can get them Definitely, from. Definitely, yeah. But Beauty Joint was just really cheap. Oh, no. <laughs> that's why. It's all about cheapness. Okay, what next? Um... Let's do brushes, but instead of a brush, oh, I've got my favourite eye brush is this one by Sedona Lace, and it's an EBO9, and it looks like that. Some people might be wearing it's a blending it. brush. The, yeah, it's a blending brush. So, um, I've got a brush that I use to put eyeshadow on, and I just tap it on. But this blends um, colour into what do you call it, the outer V or the crease. Bruce. So it's just really nice and fluffy. It's quite dense too, though, so it doesn't spread product all over the place oh, yes. so it just places it nicely and I think once you get a really good blending brush your eye makeup like it looks that much yes. better so definitely that one and for face I love that um beauty blender and this looks cool I it's so pink. want one I know it's so good so you use I mean some people will just use a normal sponge but I've used one and I've used this and I find them so much better you can mold them to however you want like if you just put on foundation you kind of dab it all over and you can do it really thin or you can build it up and then if you're going to use it for like concealer you kind of pinch it like that and you use it damp as well I just find them really good it gives a really nice finish so favorite beauty brushes sponges thingies <laughs> Um, so my favourite brushes would, uh, I don't have a lot of brushes to tell you the truth, I went and got this like huge pack mm. and then I ended up, it was just, nah. And that's why they were so cheap I think. And it came from a site that I'm not going to mention because they're one of my favourites. <laughs> um, which sucks hard, yeah. but anyway, I, I, I've got two that I wanted to show you guys and mine is the e.l.f. powder brush. Such a good brush. And of course that's for your powder, but I use it for my foundation because it's the only dense brush I've got. It's good to use dense, mm. a dense brush when it comes to applying liquid foundation. Yeah. Um, and the next one I've got is this Coastal Scents brush. I love it. Can I touch it? Yeah, it's so soft. <gasps> and it's pink. It is. I don't know. Next we have got lip gloss. So my favourite is the L'Oreal Glam Shine Volumizer 6 Hour Gloss. And this one's quite old. Um, you can see like the price tag on it. Oh, I keep like you know that's so old. It was on special, but it's just so good. It, it's it looks so, like a nice color. What 
colour is it? Absolutely red, but it's kind of ready pink. It's kind of like a cherry red. Um, and it stays on. Looks nice. It's got the plumping thing in it too, so when oh, you put it on your lips, I can't try. Um, when you put it on, it makes your lips go. Is it ch that chiller stuff? Like yeah, it's, it's got some kind of plumping yeah. effect. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so good. It's nice over red lipsticks. It's nice over pink ones. It lasts for ages. Like, it probably lasts till you have something to eat, really. Oh, that's really good. Easy. It's quite thick on your lips, but it's nice. It's good for going out. That nice. One. My fave. Well, my favourite lip gloss is a L'Oreal one as well, which is quite funny because yeah. I'm not really into L'Oreal's no. that much. Both of us aren't. Mm -hmm. Um, but mine is a reedy one as well. It just looks like this. Yeah, it's similar colours, eh? Yeah, similar colours. That's weird. Maybe this one is the one that now. Yeah, true. Is it, it the colour juice? Mm, it's what is this? Glam Shine. Oh. It's real something. Well, similar. anyway, this is in the colour Raspberry Smash 310 and it's just in a tube like this. When I first got it, I did not like it. It's I weird. I'm the same like as this. It. I just bought this off a sale table and I thought, meh. Yeah. Um, I got this off a cosmetic sale, which was in New Plymouth a few months back, and now it's back in New Plymouth again. But um, yeah, that would definitely be my favourite lip gloss, definitely. I love it. L'Oreal. Um, what um, we use for eyebrows, so I use my one's totally smashed, is the e.l.f. I don't even know what it's called. Eyebrow kit. Eyebrow kit. And it's got, um, mine's shame because my powder's all gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have brought mine. I totally <laughs> forgot about mine. But what colour do you use? Dark. Alright. Oh, medium. I, sorry. Yeah, medium. I use medium as well. Um, but I fill my brows every day. I just think it's so good. It, it is makes good. you you your face frames your face more. It makes you look polished. Yeah. Like when I don't have my brows filled, I feel really like not done up. I just feel yeah. quite low key, which is fine. But um I only really use that smashed the so I'm not just like hard out use it. The powder smashed but i only really use the wax i found the wax so yes good. same and i'm just scraping it where do you get yours from i got mine from it used to be in bling you know the oh, like diva yeah. and bling and all that but yeah i got mine from, but it's closed down bling i haven't found yeah anymore. but you can get them off hako sinkara beauty joint yeah all those different ones online and i've got a angled brush to apply it with but you get a brush with this as well yeah it's just it's a little good. one yeah. that goes inside yeah um, actually, I was going to use a different bronze, but I think I'm going to go for this one. This is going to include my blush as well. So, I've got this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. Just looks like that. And so both of the colours are really nice. They're such good colours. They're great for evening wear or day wear. Mm. And I just, yeah, my go-to blush and bronzer, definitely, mm. from e.l.f. And that um, blush is like a dupe for orgasm by oh. Nars, which is like a really well-known fave blush and that there is you go. so like an way cheaper yeah this this is like oh it's under 12 10 or 15 yeah or something oh, like yeah. that depends if it's on special or not yeah. it's so cheap anyway cheap which we like <laughs> love um my um this isn't a bronzer but i use it like a bronzer and it's um mac copper tone and i use it as a contour and as a bronzer I've brought bronzers before, but because I'm a bit darker, they don't really show up in my face. So this is really nice. And my blush is Pinch Me by... Pinch Me. Pin yeah, it does give, it's like a nice rosy pinch to the cheeks. Nice. And I just use those. I don't really use anything else. TBH. <laughs> CBH. <laughs> so damn. <laughs> um, I'm, I love BB creams if I don't wear foundations I use BB creams and um, my favourite is quite an inexpensive one that you can get from the supermarket and it's just from Garnier this one right here I was actually given this from a friend oh no she bought it and it was too dark for her because I'm a medium and so I bought it off her for like 10 bucks but otherwise it's like 14 or 16 dollars yeah, in packies um, this is the Miracle Skin Perfector and it's thick smells good easily spread over your face mm. and yeah i just really love it great an expensive product Toots. um my one is it i don't an expensive product it's the ramel rimmel i don't know how to yeah, say it no neither rimmel, rimmel. whatever <laughs> um bb cream which is a beauty bum nine in one skin perfecting super makeup and medium to dark um i really like the garnier one i've used a few of the are they Korean baby creams? Like the Leo Ellie and um, yeah. I haven't tried the Leo Ellie, I'd lie. Skin 79. Yeah, but skin because 79. I'm mouldy, who knows? 
<laughs> of a tan complexion they don't really show up that nice make me look a bit gray and ashy so this one is really nice if you have got a darker skin tone oh that doesn't look very appealing but it's just it is good to use if you're not gonna wear foundation yeah it's got totally. spf in it as well yeah that's another good thing is Vanessa. spf for oh, yeah people who wanted to keep their skin you know good um, the next thing is powder after you've put on foundation or you can just wear this by itself do you know before foundation for mm. liquid I just used to use powder and that was it um, and I, I was all good with it but this one here is from the Maybelline Fit Me to tell you the truth I don't have a favorite powder this was just the first one I saw it's kind of like a compact and it's it comes cute. with a little mirror cute. and then it has a little thing that you can do and I love this because I can just chuck it in my Mm. bag when I go to town or whatever mm. and just do touch-ups if I want to how do you know yeah and this is in natural buff 230 mm. and I think this is you can get this in the supermarkets mm. as well you can get this in farmers pretty easy to get totes um my favorite powder is bourgeois Paris healthy balance unify unifying powder 10 hours um i got this when i was in sydney but i think you could probably get it online yeah asos probably they sell. ASOS, yeah. yeah bourgeois um asian fruit therapy hydrating and anti-shine it lasts for 10 hours i find it pretty good um, powder's quite hard for me because my skin tone once again um some of them just look like ashy or gray but this one i found is pretty good and it's inexpensive it cost me like 15 dollars or something and oh, i just put it good. use it with a powder brush and it's awesome Dang. i feel awesome <laughs> Um, me and Hins were talking about liners, like gel liners or liquid liners, and I used to be a hard out liquid liner, but now I've converted to gel liners, and this one I was actually, um, suggested by another beauty guru, um, who's also a friend on YouTube as well, her name is Amy, Ames Foyer is her beauty channel, and she told me to get this one here, which is the Wet n Wild one, and it's in the colour black, I think just black <laughs> um and it's real oh yeah i love it i love gel liners they're yeah. so so good and you just use an angled brush with it but yeah wet and wild you can get this pretty much anywhere um on any dirty site quite cheap as well i think mine was like seven dollars or something oh my it was gosh. real cheap but yeah it's good uh, mine is the same gel liner i didn't buy this it's the mac fluid line um and black track it just looks like that it's pretty cute actually it is cute uh, it's like the little see-through it's quite heavy um and it just looks like that mine's got a crack in it i use it heaps um but i love gel liner too it lasts way longer and it's way easier to put on i find liquid liner like i just can't apply it properly but use that with a angled brush and it's perfect i didn't buy this my sister got it and then she didn't want it and i was like yeah oh, if you're mad i'll take it. It. <laughs> um, but i'm pretty sure it was like the wet and wild one i've heard great things about that so i don't know if i'd repurchase it but i do love it just because it's mac <laughs> yeah just because it's mac and we mm. love mac yeah um so we're getting down to the last of our products um and i mean everyone you have to have a mascara i mean totally. you just cannot have a mascara mm. i'm big on maybelline usually i get the maybelline falsies but i've now i saw another beauty youtuber she's an australian and i saw her putting this on one day mm. and i was like oh that looks cool i haven't tried that one yeah it's from maybelline it's called the one by one volume express and this is in satin black and i got this from a cosmetic sale and that's just the wands there and i really like the wand yeah yeah that's yeah, that that's my really favorite favorite mascara um i've got two because i like uh, what's her name nicole guerrero oh yes she puts two she layers them she right. layers them and it's a bloody good trick makes them <laughs> good like if i'm just going to work i'm not going to put two mascaras on because it's a bit like whoa where do you work <laughs> <laughs> but um if i'm going out i'll definitely put two mascaras and i used to use this before nicole i know knew that she oh, wore yes. it and it's the um mine's worn out the rimmel lash accelerator um, it's supposed to have some kind of lash growing complex. I don't notice that my lashes oh. are longer, but they're fine. Um, and that's really good. I use that to like lengthen them and brush them out. And then I put this Lash Extra Wow Lash, that which is a rimmel. Nice. Yeah, and yeah. that just kind of makes them thicker. So one that's like lengthening and one that's thickening, and that's the brush. I like the brush. Yeah, the brush is really good. Kind of picks up every little. And this is nice because I like to um, like flick my lashes out in the corner. And, and that would be really good on your bottom lashes too. Yeah, to try. That's that's a good point. So yeah, I use two 
faves Rimmel. I love Rimmel. We have just realised we really love Rimmel. Yeah, it's such a good and we expensive brand. didn't realise we've actually got quite a bit of Rimmel each. <laughs> yeah. And our lucky last product is nail polish. So I've only just started, uh, neither, mine are gross. Yeah. I've only just started wearing nail polish like hard out like the last six months. And then I started buying them. Before today, like last year, I only owned two nail polishes. <gasps> Crime. I know now I own like I don't know heaps yeah but this was my favorite that I could think of oh, that, I that is such a cool could color. find this is from Maybelline the MNY collection um this was only four bucks from Posty Plus what I'm so Honestly, gonna get that go tomorrow. Posty Plus. <laughs> they have so much stuff there and this is like a deep deep dark red and oh such a perfect winter color eh? it is so nice yeah. it's quite close to Hen's color that she's wearing now I'm gonna put this on these on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just I love it. And four bucks, who can you go wrong with that? Uh, it's so good. Out. So good. My um so my favourite is the OPI Big Apple Red. And it's just a nice vibrant red, like just a normal red. I just think it looks nice on toes in summer. It's a all seasons colour, perfect red. Definitely. So that is our favourites makeup video. Probably a little bit long, but we just have so much makeup stuff that we want to talk about. We're definitely going to do some more makeup videos, eh? Totally. Definitely. I love... I mean, this is... And the house stuff is nice, but this is, like, so girly and fun. Yes. And I love... It makes you feel pretty and beautiful. I mean, you don't need makeup, but it's something that always makes me feel better. No Same. Matter what. No matter what. Just buying it. Just seeing that transaction go through. <laughs> <Get off. laughs> but anyway we're gonna have some more um videos coming up hopefully real soon we've got uh, um we've been uh, i've actually been asked to do a 20 dollars challenge so we're gonna get 20 dollars and we have to try and make something out of 20 dollars we'll try to make a healthy meal i'm so another, nervous about that i know <laughs> um another thing we've been also like kind of like you know um i don't know if we've been asked this but we wanted to do a healthy quarter pack KFC quarter pack. I mean, there's no healthy quarter pack, I suppose, but healthier. Healthier. We're gonna try and do that. And I've actually talked to a few people about it, and they're like, "Whoa, that's cool. You should do that." I'm like, "We're going to." We're gonna bring it. Oh yeah, yeah. But thank you so much for joining us. Um, and whatever you're up to, hope you're having a great day. We'll see you in our next video. See ya.